I want million. I want million. You want million? I want million. It is I want million with an O. Pronounce it in a European style. I want million. Let's play I want million. What's up everybody? Welcome to Let's Play I Want Million episode number 8. And I don't care how many millions are being given away on PokéStars, because last night another 2 million dollars were given away, actually 2.4 million dollars, because the second and third players always get 100k. And as you can see here, congratulations to HandBT number 1, and also congratulations to Barracuda 4 for shipping the Milli. That was on a hundred dollar spinning go, and Stoimus, who you might know from our Twitch streams, he's our, our super mod, he's doing the moderations in the Twitch chat, and he's doing a great job, he's a great follower, he's a student of mine, and he actually was awake recording that action for us. So you can check it out here on my YouTube channel. I did a little 10 minute video reviewing that complete spin and go. We missed a couple of hands uh, right at the start, but you can check it out here on my YouTube channel. Just click on the link in the info box. It's that way. I just get the directions confused. Well, anyways, that will not deter us from the plan to ship the Millie. We still want million and we might still get a million. So let's just start and stop talking in that awkward pause voice. Start. Yes. Well, at least we have the challenge, right? Okay, let's go. Let's spin it up. We need to change the felt color. I want million. I haven't adjusted the felt color to my zipper color yet. It's 10 bucks. Well, I got some time to change the color to red. Come on, buddy. I want this red. All right, Queen Jack, raise it up on the button. Red on red, red felt, red zipper, red milli. Whatever color the millions have, I don't care, I want them. I want them. Even if it's just fake money, give me red fake money, I don't care, I'm just gonna put it up here on the on the table. And I'll have a fake milli. But at least I have million, I wanted million, I got million. Alright, so we see Googie limping the small blind. We have a jack and a deuce. And now we have a gut shot. He pots it so we can call. Ten five, my favorite hand, two cards to a straight. You know how I feel about that. We do fall a pair of fives, there is not much value. Let's check it here. Maybe QLTI decides to bluff at it. We will see. Sometimes if you check people like to bet. And now we hit a 10 as well. We also have a flush draw with that 5 of clubs. And probably he's gonna have a 10 or a club. Let's bet a small amount. If he has a 10 I think he might raise us even. Don't think he has a deuce. Let's see if he raises. Maybe he calls with ace high if he has the ace high flush draw. Now I'm curious to see what he had. He had a 10. Oh no, he would have called more. But it's quite unlikely he had a 10 because I had a 10. Also I had a 5 and there was a deuce, there were two deuces on the board. So that's tough. 8-9 has nothing to do with that board texture. I don't think we should bet here. Googie's thinking. That's that Windows avatar, right? And that that as well. If you just upload those Windows wallpapers that are coming with Windows. Let's try to bluff here because he should not have a queen. I don't know what we get him to fold. Actually, that's a senseless bet. That bet doesn't make any sense. If he has a pair, he's never folding. We actually have the best hand with nine high, I think. Maybe he folds ace high. Yeah, and he's never folding a queen. What was I thinking? Face palm flicks. Hashtag face palm flicks. Tuesday morning. That bet. And I let him get there. Well, but typically will not fold here if we check raise. So let's check raise to a hundred. We could also just jam, but I think making it a hundred is better. Oh, I was not expecting a fold. I think any ace will call that check raise, but he probably just had nothing. So maybe being results oriented. Uh I don't think we can call here if he gems. 
Although it's close. I gotta admit. Man, senseless bet face pump flicks. Buffs with nine high. Fail. Such a fail. Ace king. And gets rewarded with two pair right after. And still has the chip lead. Bluffing chips because, you know. Why? Because I can. Because I got them chips. Let's raise. Oh, he's short. We could have completed that. Yeah, we could have saved the bet there. Again, wasting wasting some bets here. I will stop this now. Stop the waste of bets. I already invested two bets that I could have avoided. Actually, that's 40 plus 30. So I would have would have had would have saved 70. Would have should have could have. In German you say hätte hätte Fahrradkette. That's like would have should have could have. And uh it it actually translates to would have should have bicycle chain. <laughs> All right, this time we're going to complete. I think we can bet with two overcards in the back row straight draw because we have some outs to fall back on. I don't think he's folding a pair when he calls the flop. So, okay, let's check here. Let's not waste any more bets on senseless boards. Let's save our stack here. And another ace-king. All right, I think we're going with it. No matter what, even if Googie decides to shove, we're going to be like... We're going to be like, yes! And even that looks strong, but not strong enough for ace-king. You can't fold ace-king for 20 big blinds, less than 20 big blinds. We even have fold equity now, shoving 510. You know, he can fold and save his 445. Or he can call with a weaker ace. If he calls with a pair, we have nice equity. So, that's a great spot. Yeah, there we go. Ace-king, the winner without even having to produce the winning cards. We're shoving the king seven suited. One of those hands that's probably too good. We could also complete, but then we'll have to fold to a shove, and that sucks. Actually, we don't have to fold to the shove, but it's probably you know, it's, it's, it's probably never really a good idea to call an all-in with anything less than an ace or a pair, if you can avoid it, if it isn't too short. Oh, I missed that. King three makes the flush. And now we're in even stacks, 750 to 750. How about that? Jack 8. Bring it, Googie, bring it. 2040. Next point level. Let's complete the 3-9. One of the hands I would usually toss away, but since we're still deep, why not? For 20, we can see a flop. <clears throat> we might flop. Trip deuces. Oh no, trip threes. How can we flop trip deuces with three nine? Trays. I was going to say trays. Is it trays? Threes. Threes or trays? Why is it actually tray? Does anybody know why is it? Why? Why? What? What the 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 meaning behind tray is? Why? Like in the U.S. when I play in Vegas, cash games, people always say tray. Why do they do that? Tell me in the comments. Not going to bet here. Should have bet on the flop. But it's a good hand to check call as well. He bets big on the turn. Either he has a jack or he has a high spade. So let's see and find out. Maybe he gives up on the river. Oh, he has a jack. Well, okay. Take back our chips. Ten do stall Brunson style. Okay, we cannot call him a lin. I mean, as much as I would love to, <laughs> to uh. To make a full house. I think the threes are best to jam. I don't like to... Yeah, because we're get a, gonna get it in ahead with our threes. We need a three. That's that's a deuce. We need a tray. Sorry, we need a tray. Well, first spin, we lose. Next spin. Let's want million. Keep calm and I want million. Well, it's 20. So, 10, 20, million. That's how we're gonna do it today. 10, 20, million. Sevens. Decent board texture. I think we can bet here. Protect our hand. Get some value out of a six. Don't think he has a nine that often, so let's just keep firing. He might still be calling with any heart. 
Eight on the river? Ah, I was just going to say, well, he could be bluffing with a heart, though. Then again, let's close. It came so quick. It came so quick. The thing is, I'm a little bit afraid. I do block 7, 8, so I'm not really afraid of... I think I'm going to make a fold. I'm going to make a fold. It's tough, though. It's tough. I think I could have called because he could be bluffing with a single heart there. <clears throat> That's a big bet. Cannot call with ace high. I think I'm a little bit spewy today, meaning I'm splashing too much with the chips. I'm going to check the swap. I don't think we can get a value by betting, but we might get him to bluff. So let's just check to him and hope that he tries to bluff us off an eight. If he has an ace, he's going to give us the value anyways. And now and now we have an easy decision. We're just going to get it in. And we have the same hand. How about that? And now we all have three pair. Tray pair. Now you can't say that. Got to fold to the jam. And now we're short. Okay, it doesn't matter. We're going to lose the first two ones. That's okay. Uh, we were up 85, so now we're down to 75 again. We invested 10 bucks for the two spins. We're still in the profit zone and it's okay if we lose the first two ones if we bink the millie on the third one. What, what's, what's with the same hands today? Like ace three, jack ten, everybody making straights and then you also have to flop two pair. I mean it's not like that's 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 sick that's a sick run of cards. You not only do you have to have the same hands, you also have to hit the same hands on the flop to get that kind of action. You know, we hit two pair two pair and they have a straight and straight and I think the sevens are too strong to fold we can triple we have him beat let's dodge the five let's dodge the four in the five that's okay we'll take it back to starting stack pairs are great pairs are just awesome I love pairs who doesn't love pairs all right defending still deep king king jack don't think we should fold here with ace high. Still thinking ace high will be good. And yeah, we'll just take it to showdown. Check it down. Check it down. He should not have a jack. He should not have a king that often. He could have like a random pair, but he could also have a ton of bluffs. And yeah, ace high is the winner some of the time. There you go. Just make some sick hero calls with the ace high some of the time. Just to mix things up. 45 with 6-9 suited. I think we have to call because it it's suited and connected. 4.45. Pot outs are good. Flop a pair of sixes. He makes a huge bet. I mean, we do have the back to a flush draw, but I feel like he's quite strong in that spot. Because <sighs> he bet against two. He's not afraid to put his tourney life at risk. So, okay, I'm going to give this one up. Although it's close. Well, we do have some outs here. The yes, we want to bet, and we want to bet big. We just want to bet big and get the money, and I think that's the best play. And yeah, now we actually can check here. Maybe he bluffs. Maybe he bluffs River. Maybe he bluffs River 440. Or he puts the weaker diamond in himself. There we go. He decided to go with the 10 6. We had his draw crushed also. Do we have his draw crushed? Yes, we had his draw We had his draw crushed with the jack. Can you imagine that? Having somebody's draw crushed with jack 7 offsuit? That's sick. Pocket kings right next hand. Uh, we're okay with the gem now. And we're okay with a $120 bet now, if you like. But you decline. And you don't hit jack 6 4. That's a shame. Looks like we turn this one around, hopefully. That 30, let's call. Hit a gutter ball. I came in like a gutter ball, but I can't call 150 with a gutter ball. Queen 3 suited, easy defend. Again, those jack 4 6 boards come like. The flies. Another six on turn. Queen high, the winner? Uh, I think yes, King high or Ace high. Yeah. And he's not folding those. Raise with the six. Hit a pair of sixes, so let's just value bet here and protect the six a little bit. The tiny little six we have to protect. That five is not a great turn. We're still going to bet it. I mean, he might call with a flush draw or with another six, and it's unlikely he has a five. So we don't want to give him a free river. Jag eight, let's raise. 
King Queen 5. Can we bet here? We have Jack High. That's the next best thing to ace high on King Queen. And now we have an open ender. Let's call. Maybe we hit. Maybe Jack High is good. Who knows? Ah, close. Even a Jack. A Jack would have been an out. An 8 would have been an out. We would have won with an 8 on the river. Uh, we have an open ended straight draw, but it's not a good one. So, uh, yeah, and for pot, we can't really call. I mean, the jack will not give us the best straight, so that's really not worth much. King six, raise. King jack, call. Gut shot, gutter balls. Flopping a lot of gutter balls. Two big bets here, I think. Uh, and I think his big bets actually mean something. Twenty forty, ten nine 10 9 suited. I like that flop. Hope he has a high club or some small pair. We're going to bet big here. Protect our hand. Get him to call with the club. And shove turn. I think he's going to call with any club, any weaker pair. So let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. And we got him out kicked. The 9 plays. The 9 plays. The kicker plays. That's awesome. I love it. I love it when a plan gets together. Deuce 5 against Ace 9 now. Need a spade. No spade. But yeah. Let's not call it a win before, well, we have to go with anything here, before we haven't taken his last chip. So 4-9, come on, 9, come on. Yeah, there we go, he gets back into the game. But we're going with it, we're going with it, no matter what. Uh, I think 120 even we have to call. And we got him, we got him, he, we just need to dodge that deuce now. Let's see if the kicker plays. Does the kicker play? Yes, kicker plays again. 20 bucks, so down 75, plus 20, we're up 95. Close to 100. All right, last one. As I said, this is going to be the milli. This is going to be it, no doubt. I won million. Couple of zeros missing again. Well, that's one of the worst hands. Besides deuce three. <clears throat> <sighs> They're taking their time. Let's just jam. Let's just pick up the free 40 here. I mean, it's free 40 effectively because they're never calling. When they're calling, we're even ahead, so let's pick them up. If we check, the flop is going to come king, queen, jack. And then we're sitting there thinking, oh no, why didn't we go all in with our pocket eights before the flop? <laughs> we could have prevented that misery. <clears throat> uh, can we try and represent a straight to him? I don't think so. People are always calling with any pair. They don't care about no straight. And he can have the straight himself. With that six, seven, three, let's fold. We're up 95. Up 90. If we win one more, we could play the $100 spinning go already. I think we should do that right away if we get to 100 bucks. We shouldn't wait until the end of the series. So as soon as we got a $100 profit, we're going to play. We're going to play. We came to play. Jack. Queen, queen, queen. Interesting flop. See if we can bluff here. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> He's going to buy that. Talking about a waste of chips. That's a waste of chips. That's a waste of 20 chips there. Right there. Wasting chips. Don't try this at home, kids. Well, that's not a waste of chips. That's a call. And that's a very bad flop for Ace Deuce of Hearts. Completely wrong color, completely wrong cards. It's got nothing to do with our hand. And same applies to this hand now. Well, at least we hit a deuce. Hey, hey. Should we bet here? Can we get a call from worse? Uh, we need to protect, though. So let's bet 40. I mean, a 5 and a 9 is never folding, but... 
we might have the best hand and we don't want to risk giving out a free card. That is a big raise, buddy. I keep repeating the same lines, I think. That's a big raise, buddy. That's a big raise, buddy. I should make like cut all these scenes together. That's a big raise, buddy. That's a big raise, buddy. That's a big raise, man. What's up with the big raise, man? What's with the big raise, buddy? Why so big? Why so much? Why so serious? That's a good flop. Let's get some chips in. Uh, well, he's forcing us. We have the nut flush draw, one over card, back to a straight draw. We're going with it. And yeah, as we see, we usually have like close to 50% equity, which we don't always realize. But yeah, that's it. I mean, we're still up. So down 15, up 20. We're up 5 for the session. That means we're up 90. And we'll continue tomorrow on the hunt for the milli and for the $100 spinning goal, which we're going to play within this series. I'm 100% sure we're, we're going to be making it super confident. So thank you all for watching today, even though we didn't bink the milli as planned. But if you like the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow. Keep calm and I want million.